And now for today's HealthCast, the National Cancer Center estimates about 40% of all American men and women will be diagnosed with some form of cancer during our lifetime, but the risk is a lot higher for people born with a genetic disorder, something called Lee Fromini syndrome. Lauren Fernandez was only eight years old when she learned she had a rare genetic condition called Lee Fromini syndrome, or LFS. Her mother, Margie, suspected something was wrong after Lauren's father was diagnosed with cancer several times. My mom, being a nurse, she was alarmed and she figured it out. A child born to a parent with LFS, in this case Lauren's dad, has a 50% chance of inheriting the mutation that predisposes patients to a number of different types of cancers. What it is is our, our tumors are regulated by oncogenes and repressor genes. And when you have a repressor gene that is damaged, which is what it is in Lee Fraumeni syndrome, the P53, uh, there's a higher incidence of you developing a malignancy. Dr. Guillermo D'Angulo with Nicholas Children's Hospital says about 50% of patients with LFS develop a malignancy before the age of 40, 90% of them before the age of 60. And so what we do is we follow a certain schema where we do certain imaging on the entire body we look for certain tumor markers, and if we're able to identify them, uh, then that actually improves their survivorship on this uh, patient population. Lauren undergoes annual body scans, MRIs of her brain, ultrasounds of her abdomen, and regular visits to a dermatologist and an ophthalmologist. And then if you're a female, you have to do uh, ultrasounds or MRIs of the breast at an earlier age than what's currently indicated for the normal population. Late last year, Lauren underwent a double mastectomy to reduce her risk of breast cancer. She says being proactive about her health is what keeps her moving forward. I'm definitely always happy and grateful for what I have. Um, I love adventures and experiencing new things, just like living life. <laughs> And we definitely wish Lauren well. While genetic engineering may one day play a role in treating LFS, for now, catching cancers early is the key to patient survival.